Hi guys, I'm Gravit here, and this is a Raid Shadow Legends video. In this video, I am going to go over Zelata. Zelata was a champion that I pulled quite a while ago. Um, I think he might be decent. I had, I'm, to be fair, I got distracted with other champions and then went about and just kind of forgot him, left him there. I found him again recently. I started using him for Scarab King, and then I wanted to review like his kit and everything that he has, like his gear and artifacts and stuff, because he is a really good shield champion. So. I did change some of his gear already because I had him in like three and four star gear. That's how long ago I had him. And as you can see, I am still a mid game player. So I'm not, I don't have God tier gear and all that other stuff. So you can see it's pretty average, if not below average gear. So this is the best that I could find for him though. I got him in a shield set because of some of uh, one of his skills and life's, the life set as well to add HP. But you'll see why when we go through the kit. So in any case, Attacks one enemy, has a 15% chance of placing a sleep debuff for one turn. Honestly, you could build accuracy for that, but I don't really care about the sleep buff because the second you hit them, then they wake up again. So it's not as good as stun, so I'm not really too bothered by it. Uh, on the A2, armed scales, places a shield buff on all allies for uh, equal to 20% of this champion's max HP for three turns. That is why I have him in the shield set because I want him to start off with shields in the first place. That is why I have him in the life set. I want the extra 15% on his uh, HP pool, so those shields will be nice and beefy. Um, then places a 15% uh, continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. That it comes more in handy than you would think. At first, I thought that continuous heal wasn't that big of a deal, and that was just a stupid thought, but it's actually really, really useful. Um, last, Horrid Dreams attacks all enemies, has a 50% chance of placing a, a sleep buff debuff for one turn, has a 75% chance against enemies under uh, debuffs mm. and that books up to a hundred percent chance all right but see the thing is, i'm still not it's the sleep it's the sleep debuff so that the sleep debuff i mean i guess it can be useful but it's just like i'm not too bothered with it i, I don't know how else to say it now i'm about to go through his masters real quick uh but before we do that i drop Ray Shadow Legends videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and DC Legends videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please hit like, please hit subscribe, and if you don't like it, hit subscribe and hit dislike. I'm okay with that as well. In any case, I am going to now go through his masteries. Um, I'm going to do go for the dungeon build, the dun well, the Doom Tower build, because that's really the only place that I use him. Um, and there might be other better places, but again, I have this whole thing of where they have two different mastery templates for uh like campaign and dungeons and then doom tower but to me doom tower is just pve content so but i mean i guess you have differences in faction wars and stuff too i don't know but i'm gonna go for the doom tower build just because that's where i'm gonna use them the most at first i had the defense but resistance would help because if he resists and then is able to put down those shields i mean i guess that's nice I'm not, if you can't tell, I'm not 100% convinced by this. Damage received by 10% if this champion is, um, I think it's because we want to go down a certain path. Decreases the damage this uh, champion receives by 8% when this champion is hit by, okay? And I think we took that so we could get here. Has a 50% chance to remove one random debuff from this champion when they lose 25, okay. All right, cool. And then the shadow heals. Healing this champion by 6% of their match HP each time an enemy is healed. Helps with that survivability. Good for the shield slash support champions. Reduces the damage this champion receives for a specific enemy by 0.75%. Um, with each hit taken from an enemy, damage re re reduction stacks up to 6% for each enemy. Ooh. Okay. Decreases the damage all allies receive for the first hit in each round. This champion will receive it. Uh-huh. Well, this is a plus because he does have a deep HP pool. So I can see where that's favorable for him. Has a 50% chance of increasing the turn meter by 15% when an ally is attacked with a critical hit. Will only increase the turn meter once if an ally receives multiple critical hits. Okay. And then here. Decreases the damage all allies receive by 5% of the champion receive. I'm okay with this again because he has the deep HP pool. It bothers me, but... I I think this is the first champion I've ever done that with where 
basically I'm letting him take all the damage. I get nervous about that. I get really, really nervous about that. Uh, so here, yeah, increases the value of the shields by 5%, of course. Uh, has 30% chance of increasing the term meter by 10% when you have that. That I do want. I want lasting gifts. I think we'll make it there because it's on the left side. Cycle of Magic has a 5% chance of decreasing the cooldown. Of I hate this one. What is this? Increases the amount of healing and the value of the shield buffs placed on this champion by 15% if the target ally. Why am I not taking Merciful Heal? Lure of Steel, okay. All right, so I'm not going to take this one because again, I hate this whole has a 5% chance thing. And I'm gonna go for Merciful Aid, especially since it's the, and the value of the shield buffs place, yeah. I would rather have that situation happen and then go down Lasting Gifts as opposed to having this one. Okay, so those are his masteries done. I changed it like that one thing I changed. But I don't understand that one. That's the problem. I don't understand why you would even want to take. I really don't understand why you would even want to take Cycle of Magic. But okay, that ooh, actually get my computer to work. Okay, all right. That's that's what I'm going with now. Now I'm gonna take him into Doom Tower and show what I do with him against the Scarab King. Now here's the thing: Zelotot is backup in this situation. He is not. He's not the one who I'm counting on the most in this composition. It's actually Miscreated Monster because Miscreated Monster does uh, three turn shields on a three turn with a three turn cooldown so you can keep them shielded. But just in case something goes wrong because something always seems to go wrong with the Scarab King, I uh, have Zelotide there as backup. And to be quite frank, on floor 100, when it gets down to it at the very, very end, is Virgis who carries the team the rest of the way through. So basically what I do here is I let them take care of the waves. And then when it's down to like the last two, then I take over manually. I have Cold Heart and Destroy set. I have Virgis in the Destroy set. Um, and they're the ones that I'm counting on to get down the Scarab King's shield. And everyone else is support. <laughs> Everybody else is support. Any bonus damage is greatly appreciated, but not expected. So in any case, I'm gonna go ahead and fall back, let them go through the waves. And then I'll come back to you right when I'm about to interrupt it. All right, so trying to get back here. All right, so the reason why I do this, and I might I might have screwed myself and not stopped it soon enough, um, is that I want all of their abilities off cooldown, basically. And the main one I was hoping to keep off cooldown was Cold Heart, but she still has her ability. She still has the Heart Seeker on cooldown, and they're gonna kill him. Ooh, they're gonna kill him. There's no, I have to. Mm. The reason why I need that to happen is because I need Cold Heart to use her Heart Seeker and reduce his turn meter and give us a few extra chances at him before he has a chance to attack. Everybody has shields, so I don't have to worry about it. The one thing about Raglan and her out of turn hits with the Relentless Gear is that that means her shield goes down faster. So that's something I always have to keep an eye on. Oh, all that fear. Okay. Um... All right, so we'll try to, of course not. Hopefully this fear procs, it won't because she doesn't have a shield. Oh, it does, it does, it does. I'm surprised by that. Uh, let's remove the rest of their fear. I'll put everybody in the shield set or in shield now. All right, we're still good. It's cold hearts. A3 coming anytime soon, please, please. Okay. No, oh, no, still not there yet. Come on. 
So it'll be on the next one. All right, so shields are still up. Nice beefy shields from Zelata. Thank you, sir. And I'm actually wondering because I had been doing this before I had his masteries. And so now I'm wondering if the results of me doing his masteries now are going to make a big difference in how he performs against the Scarab King now. You know what I mean? Like I don't didn't have his masteries done before, so this should it should make a difference, right? Okay, I'm going to save that mercy that heal for after he attacks cuz something tells me I'm going to need that. Oh, look, I was right. Okay. Oh, she's about to attack without shield. This is not what we want. All right, so let's remove all this stuff, all the provokes and everything. He has his shield back up. That's awesome. All right. I'll have Raglan pick up. Cold Heart, albeit it's probably not the best to have her pick up Cold Heart right now because Cold Heart will, it's gonna have to happen though. See, Cold Heart's instantly ready to go, but she's gonna attack without a shield. And I was just hoping it wasn't gonna make her fall again. All right, so. Okay, but we don't. Okay, some of us have shields, some of us don't, okay. Uh, this I still hate this thing. I still hate this. I beat it, you know what I mean? But I still hate that damn thing. Uh, she's gonna attack again immediately, but let's get the turn meter down. That's okay. I still hate this thing so much. Oh, and now Raglan's provoked. Ah, uh, she can't even use her mercy. She's about to set him off. Uh, she's still under, okay, she's got the provoke off, but they're gonna keep attacking. Mm. Dang, damn, damn, damn. I don't have any other revivers here. All right, so let's heal up, remove these debuffs. Let's get Cold Heart back up, even though she's gonna ruin things again. Well, all of us are about to ruin things, honestly. I just have to hope for a cycle where I can like, they're not provoked and that resistance is coming in handy for Zelata right now. That resistance is really coming in handy. We... It was coming in handy until it just didn't work then. Uh... Oh, extra turn. Yes. All right. Now I get to heal. That relentless gear came in big then. All right. So now we can get some shields from this creative monster. That's what's up. Oh, I still hate this thing so much. Oh, another extra turn. Ah, you're making your shield go down, woman. Okay, who do I want to heal? Let's go ahead and get this creative monster that extra continuous heal and whatnot. Oh yes, Zelata, let's get those shields up. That's what's up, okay. Let's go ahead and just attack them while we got the, while we got the chance. Uh-huh, that's what's up. Zelata came in clutch at that time. Oh, uh, that was up. Okay. Come on, hold up. Ah! Hate this thing and he and he's stealing the continuous heal buff that's the thing i'm tempted to not even use it anymore because he takes it and then he heals himself every time he gets a turn oh we're getting dangerously close here i need for raglan to heal somehow but it's not gonna happen all right, so this will be, I think everybody's about to fall now except for Burgess. If Ragnar falls, there's no more revive and no more healing, basically. So then everybody else is just gonna fall. Yeah, she's about to go down now. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So now it's just, and this it's, it's happened like this so many times where it's down to just Burgess and Zelata and then Zelata eventually falls, giving a valiant effort. Those big fat shields got us there. And then, well, let me see if I can heal him a little bit. He's gonna steal those buffs, isn't he? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is put it on auto and then 
let you guys see Burgess go to work. And I don't know how long this is gonna take. If it looks like it's gonna take too long, then I'll just go into 2X, but basically because of his passive, whenever he gets hit, he gives himself shield. So that's why you put him in a destroy set and event, and he gives himself a continuous heal. So he's gonna heal himself while shielding himself, being sure that he isn't going to get that provoke basically. And even if he does, he gets more damage, then he'll go back at it. Plus he'll put a reflect damage on himself as well, which when it's a reflect damage and it's a destroy set, I think that has an effect on the shield too. Oh man, I still hate this thing so much. I've, I've said that like a hundred times already. I mean, if you didn't know by now, now you know. So he has a continuous heal. He heals himself. Back at it. And now the shield's falling. And so now it's a little bit shorter work to get past this thing. Oh, oh Harry Potter shirt. Harry Potter mug. What's it? Okay, so it should be in the pot in the in the pocket here. So from what I can tell, I mean Zelta is useful here. Don't get it twisted, but the masteries didn't. I mean in this specific situation, it still ended the same way. Uh, part of that is the gear. I ha don't have his gear leveled up, and I don't have him in like the best gear in the world. But I think he's a solid, solid champion. Like a really, really solid champion. I think he's definitely going to be, I think he's really useful in PvE content. I don't know about if he would be too useful in the arena, honestly. Although, having that deep HP pool in a shield set, you'll start off with like huge shields in arena, so. Could be a plus. All right, come on. Okay, Verge, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. I'm going to need you to give yourself a continuous heal, bud. And you just hit him with no shield. You always have shield. What's going on? Okay. Oh, he's getting close. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. This is getting too close. Oh my goodness. Oh. I hate him so much. I hate Scary King so much. In any case, that is typically how it goes. And then at the end of it all, Burgess usually comes through, but that's the one time he did it. So I'm going to end it there. That just that just messed up my day. All right. So in any case, thank you guys for watching all the way through. Um, God. If you have any other tips for Scarab King, I can't get past them. I can't do it in auto like until I have to do a certain part in manual. If you have any tips in Scarab King, I've already done the whole videos in the series on beating them and stuff, but like... I still can't get past them consistently, and I think it's just going to come down to farming better gear. God, I hate that thing. All right, well, in any case, thank you guys for watching all the way through. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.